It's the 10th of September 2014. I'm Erica Kutab. I'm here with Roseanne Chapman at DS Medical. So Roseanne, what are you working on now? Um, well, we have a Excel spreadsheet known as the Back Orders, mm -hmm. which is a collection of um, orders that we were we didn't have the stock in time or someone asked for something very specific that we don't normally stock. Okay. Um, we needed a file um, that kept up to date with what we needed to order in for customers. Right. Is this something you've created? We had hard copies and we still have hard copies mm -hmm. of the orders that come in but this was really awkward to flick through every piece of paper every time a new stock came in. Right. Oh, someone ordered that, didn't they? And going through each paper, you know, while it's possible, it's not very practical. And so it was decided that a electronic file which collects it all together mm -hmm. would be better, would be easier. So we've collected all the information that requires to each possible customer. Mm -hmm. and so we've got the customer, the date they ordered it, their purchase order number, the code of the mm -hmm. piece of stock that it relates to, what the stock is, how much they're asking for, yep. what our purchase order number is, mm -hmm. um, who the supplier is, any notes we need to give, and if this is still open or not. Yep. Okay. So where is that stored? That's again stored on the shared drive, which is not open to the public, it's only open to those of us in the office. Okay. And each computer is password locked, mm -hmm. so you'd have to have the password to access the computer in the first place. Okay. So you put all of that data into, you created the spreadsheet essentially, yes. and put um, have been loading the data in as the orders come in? Yep, it's, it's done, it's, it's looked at every day. Okay. And updated as and when it needs to be updated. And any orders which are fulfilled, if we get the stock in, mm -hmm. it's um, put onto a second spreadsheet. Okay. Which has, again, all the same data, but it's these are now closed. Right. So they've been fulfilled. And mm -hmm. That's just there if we need to refer back to a previous order that was on the back order that we believe now has been completed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was your deadline for completing this spreadsheet? Um, again... Creating the initial one was just as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But as it's an ongoing piece of data that we're constantly organising, things like this, there's no essential deadline. Just as long as the moment the order comes in yeah. and we believe we can't fulfil it, it's yeah. put on there so that we can see what items we need to order so mm -hmm. we can get that order in quickly so we can get that stock in, mm -hmm. so, um, sort out that customer's order and send it out yeah. as soon as possible. So we don't okay. want to keep the customers waiting. That's true. So who goes through to decide um, which items need to be ordered? It's essentially my manager. Mm -hmm. And we do have a whiteboard upstairs, which we also write onto if an item needs to be ordered right. for a customer. Okay. That's something I put up there when we kept on if we just mentioned it to him or if we just wrote it down, those pieces of paper got lost, which yep. is why I said we need that whiteboard up there so it's yep. in your face, if you like, um, that these items need to be yep. desperately ordered in. Um, but I, I will say to him, we've got a back order for this stock item. Mm -hmm. And he will then consider if, yes, that, that we can order that straight away or if we need to wait on it a bit so if we're putting a huge order towards a particular supplier yeah there's no point putting in one item yeah if we're going to order a huge amount of stock from them yeah. so it is ultimately up to him but i will refer it to him or if richard is not around it will be to my other colleague paul mm -hmm. saying we've got this item to order in can we order it in now okay thank you